أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم لا سهل ما جعلت سهلا وانت جعلت حزنا إذا جدت سهل Listen 9.4 Similarity and Corresponding Parts In this uh, in this lesson you can use properties of similar figure to determine similarity and to find missing middle Okay At the beginning we must know that If two polygons are similar, then their corresponding angles. So angles are congruent and length sides are proportional. So we have two things must satisfy. First of thing, congruent angle. Second thing is corresponding side. Okay, this is the simple of similarity. We know this one is congruent. This one, similarity. Okay. So if we say similarity, we must specify. Let's see our question. Determine whether each pair of polygons is similar. If so, write similarity statement. Okay. We say if we, there is similar, we must find first of corresponding angle are congruent. I will say angles. Congruent and sides are corresponding sides are proportional. So sides proportional. So we have angles and sides. Okay. Let's start with question number one. We can see that angles are congruent. So let's see about the side. I will take one hundred fifty with one hundred. And 150 over 100, it is equal to 151 over 101, this one, with that, it is equal, no, this is 1.5, and this is 1.5, so the corresponding side, not proportional. So it is not similar. We must specify two things. So this one not similar. Okay, because the corresponding sides are not proportional. Let's see question number two. The angles are congruent. So let's see the side. If we say AB over EF, AB from one to two, EF from one to two, it will be fifteen over 5. 15 over 5, it is 3. AD over EH. AD 1, 2, 4. EH 1, 2, 4. It's equal 24 over 8, it will be 3. BC over FG. Also, it's 22.8 over 7.6. It is 3. The last one, CD over GH. CD over GH, it is 45 over 15. It's also 3. So, the proportional side, the sides are proportional, so they are similar. I will write here the sides or the ratio are equivalent corresponding so they are similar here was number one similar a b c d similar to e f g h our answer is similar. Let's see question number three. As we say, we must find about the angles and about the side. Here we didn't have any number of the side, so we must find only the angle. So angle X is congruent to angle V. This one is congruent to that one, right? Angle W 
congruent to angle W. This one is congruent to that one. You can write X, W, angle X, W, Y, congruent, as if there is vertical. V, W, V, W. Can say that's one or that's one. So because there is two angles similar, so the the, far, the third one is exactly similar. إذا كان عندنا مثلثين في زاويتين يعني مثلا هذه مع هذه أو هذه مع هذه يعني أكيد الثالثة متطابقة. Okay. So two angles two angles are congruent so similar. You can say triangle. X, W, Y similar to triangle V, V, W, U similar. Why? Because the angle are congruent. Because here it didn't have any number of the side. Finish question number four.